got is forge scale, uh, FE203 or FEO, who knows. What we're trying to do is make forge scale minus O, oxygen, and plus C, carbon, and get steel? We're going to find out. Uh, what are we doing, actually, uh, is putting, uh, putting forge scale in a crucible, um, and uh, why are we doing it? For science! That's why. So we've got a pile of forge scale full of acetone, and ideally this is a cleaning process. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna let this burn, get all the acetone and oil out of there. Uh, hopefully we fine. end up with clean scale. Great. I don't know what you're so worried about. I'm not worried about anything this other than amazing. this completely not working. I'm gonna sort through this fucking pile of shit to find the high quality bits of scale. Fine. Fine. This is all high quality scale. We don't produce low quality scale in this workshop. No. Whatever. See that? Brunt workwear. <laughs> Sick of you, man. Alright, will you please write down? 191.1 Let me know when we've got more than a thousand. 127.3 157 Holy shit. A thousand grams might not even fit in there. We can divide everything by two and just have 500 so that we're not making a really big mistake. But well, you got like 800. Really big mistake. 99.8. 500. Five. Okay, now we need 75 grams Charcoal. divided by two. Oh. I didn't go to high school either, bro. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you want. Do like more. Yeah. I'm gonna cut more. Don't they? Science, guys. Science. This is hard science. 32 and a half grams of this garbage. Be more than 32 grams? I don't think so. I think this is going to be 31 and a half on the money. 37.9. Fuck. Um, how does one remove five grams from a or that? <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to mix up some Satan? No, but I'll pick up some broken glass. Cool. Yeah, I can mix up Satan if you want. Not on the crucible. Okay. No point. Uh, hey, 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 what, what the fuck are you doing? How about, like, come on, watch this. Put, put that bubble on the side. Put, put it on the side. That was best tool. All right. Let's say tonight. Now the secret ingredient. Secret yeah, ingredient. Did I? That's a glove. That's a glove, bro. Cigarettes. <laughs> secret ingredient. And the green leaf that oh, I yeah. surreptitiously stole from the supermarket. Want to play it? Oh, <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> Fuck! Science experiments. A good scientist will change every variable at the same time. Thereby forcing a good result. 
Very simple. If we ever publish this, it will hopefully be the worst video on our channel. Oh, we're posting this. Okay. We'll see how I feel about that in the editing room, but... You know. <laughs> Why are you always putting your finger in everything? In a literal sort your, of way. Your fingers are not doing it. <laughs> oh, a beautiful sunset. What do you know? Look at that fucking guy. Look at that fucking guy. Look at that douchebag. <laughs> you to push his car in. Wow, you can see all four cars in there from this angle. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Oh man, you suck. Yeah. Uh, we don't actually know if this is gonna work. Except I have a theory. I have a theory that it will. That's enough for me. Fuck, I bled. My fucking phone has died. <laughs> In order for this to work, we each got to take a pepperoncini, bite half, throw the other half in the thing. If you don't do that, it doesn't work. I'm not sure why. Science. While that's warming up over there, holy shit, it's getting hot. While it's warming up over there, let me talk a little bit more specifically about why I think the theory is gonna work. First of all, I know that they put scale in bloomery steel, bloomery furnaces as a charge if it's becoming too carburized. So in theory, if we put a little bit too much carbon in there with scale, it should melt into iron at least, right? Theoretically, I don't know. I also know that scale is, the internet says it's 68.9 or 69.8, 70% iron by weight, which is why I think with an excess of carbon and some carbide forming elements that was in the W2, including vanadium and manganese, some chromium, I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It definitely would work in a producing atmosphere like a bloomery furnace, where it's all charcoal. Um, whether it works in a sealed environment with some leaves and some charcoal, no idea. That's why we're doing science. Science, people. pretty much as low as we can get it to go because if we propane is fed through there air is controlled by this gate valve if we turn this air all the way off propane will be dumped into this half of this pipe right the other half is just our super high-tech um, air blowing system so if we turn this off all the way Propane will be dumped into this pipe, which will be ignited by the that, and then this will become a pipe bomb and destroy me, this recording device, that really hot furnace, and maybe even Silas sitting in his car over there. We don't know. Probably. 
Do it again. Bad, bad dangerous. So this is as cold as we can have it while it's running, ish, give or take. Now we wait until tomorrow. And then we get to see if we have a cake of anything, anything at all. Really? Theoretically forgeable dendritic cast steel biscuit. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably not. Oh, hopefully. Probably not. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Shit. That's, uh. That'll do it! <laughs> Guess what we got? Scale. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so we're gonna do it again and then use all the same footage and then pretend like that's the original crucible? <laughs> no, we use all the footage that we had until now. And then we just look at it and we go, fuck, and we pull out a new one. And that's what we do. I think we've got no chance of saving this crucible. Yeet. I think we've got no chance of having a puck. This is so light. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. There's something hard down there. None. Whoa. Whoa is fucking right. Hello, Ken. Trying to neck. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck out. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, stop. Oh my God. Oh. How the fuck is this thing still together? Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna say that uh, our conclusion is that... Uh, you don't put scale in a crucible and expect anything at all. Well... If you can make fresh steel out of scale in a crucible, uh, it's way above our pay grade. You <laughs> can't make steel out of a bunch of scale in a crucible. It's like kind of ductile. It Not squashes really. before it breaks, like it, it bends. Well, okay, that's that. Up it, oh what God. the fuck? Dude! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Okay, so we opened up that other crucible and we saw that it was like this weird matrix of bullshit. And we were like, ah, that's that's unfortunate. That sucks. It doesn't look like you can actually do this. And then as I'm coming over here, I look at the top, or I guess the bottom of the other crucible that broke in half, and I spot that. Oh, what's like, that? Wait a minute, that kind of looks like the top of a puck. Why is that? <laughs> why is that there? And then, examining it closer, I find yo a puck. Yo, I mean it's fuck it. it's a disc, but it's definitely dude. A puck. We have to fucking forge something out of this, and we're gonna. Holy shit! What do you know? St hold on, does it spark? Oh, of course it sparks. We got some arrows. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's fucking steel. <laughs> no fucking way. Look at that. No way. No way, no dude. Way. No fucking way. Like, that's not anything insane. And it doesn't look. Here, hold it still and tilt it doesn't look good necessarily but but there's, there's something. fucking something in there we just gotta forge it out and find out Dude. no way no way <laughs>